All right, guys. This is. Um, we're using the Clark Ranger 664 to move this. I think it's a 53 foot flat deck. Um, it's in our way now. We want to get all our firewood into the yard, and it needs to be out of here. Um, the story behind this is. We, uh, I was taking some vacation in the summer, and the boss wanted something to keep him busy, so we sawed a bunch of uh, ash to replace the deck on it. Well, when the owner had his guy come out and rip the deck off, we realized that the deck was actual garbage. Um, the I beams, it was just so rusted, like you had nothing to actual screw into. Like it was just. I don't know. To me, it should actually just go to the scrap bin. This is take one of this, and uh, one of the biggest problems is the fair lead on the Clark isn't high enough. If you had one of the, you know, like the John Deere's where they've got that, the fair lead's probably another three feet higher than this Clark. That would have worked way better. But fool around, and we're discussing here, and you can kind of kind of see we've figured out that it won't work with this front uh, plate on so we actually take that off so you can watch uh, you can see that uh, happen Now we've got that taken off we're coming back in and we're trying to we've got it hooked off the uh, kingpin and the thing is we can't we can't get far enough away the front of that trailer wants to hit the fenders or really rub on the fenders so we're gonna redo it right now it just knocked off the airline we try again but it, it's just not gonna work so you're watching us go kind of through the paces here on figuring out what's going to work and what's not. And also, we've got, um, you'll see now when we get back, we've got a air peg with one of those uh, booster packs that have the compressor built into it. And we have that running to uh, release the brakes. So you got to add air to these trailers to release the brakes. So that's what he's got, the glad hand there to... Um, fill up the tank on the trailer to release those brakes and they actually released pretty good for sitting there since August you can see they're trying to jam a piece of wood in to get it far enough away from this uh, airline and that but this in the end the take two didn't work we end up you'll see here in a bit we're kind of figuring out but we, we will uh, we will uh, re-hitch this. I gotta put my opinion in now, so you see me talking here. But, we re-hitch it to higher on the actual, those cross ribs is, uh, is what we're doing now. Well, too much yapping. Want some uh, slack cable.
one thing. Now you watch. This guy that's helping us. He is the Frenchman neighbor. The old Frenchman. And his hand signals are, are horrible. I think it is. They, they must be French hand signals because I don't understand them half the time. <clears throat> that's kind of the ongoing joke. You'll see him here. Watch the watch the uh, hand signals like oh yeah oh gee uh, yep you just smile and nod and yeah see we're both in agreeance which you got the trailer you got to take a wide but I can only take a wide this here is where things go bad you can see the air peg now but this is where things go bad so because it's so close to the fenders and this is an articulating machine you can already see it happening Watch on the left side of the screen, on the right fender, right rear fender. Just where the air peg is, you watch. So I'm trying to take this corner nice and wide so we can get around here. And oh, it just goes out of the screen. But as I start turning just a touch, just to start swinging, it's hitting the fender. So now I'm like, and it's this thing's so rotten, it just bent that fender right back in. You'll see what happens here in a second. Bent it right back in, and by that point, it's like, well, it's bent already, so what's the point here of staring at it? So. so, like I said, I'm trying to take this as wide as I can. I got a little bit worse, and I stopped, and it's, you might as well just keep on going. Might as well turn harder now. There you go. You can see it pushing right in. Look at that. Just crumpled it. Oh. Like those things shouldn't crumple like that. But, you know, this was two weeks ago, I think we moved it. You know, it's been in our yard for six months. Maybe the guy should have come and picked it up. I, I don't know. We can't get a hold of him. I don't know, does it not become the, my boss's property at that point and sat there that long? I don't know. What do you guys all think? Leave a comment in the... Uh, leave leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what uh, what you think. And now I'm turning a lot tighter here and it's, a, yeah, it's really bad right now. And there... Oh, no. Oh, oh look at it. Look, oh, it's just bouncing off the top. Oh my, look at it. Look at it flex. That's how bad that is. It did not. <laughs> it did not like that. But we're on the, we're on the straight shot here. And you see, oh, I'll speed this up here. You don't, that's straight. Nothing, nothing happens here. But. We're just getting it out of our main yard and putting it up so if the guy does show up, he can uh, come and get it. So, oh yeah, here, watch this. Watch me just dial her right back in there. No problem, 10-4. Stevie, you'd be proud. Other than that big bent up front part on it. Take her nice and easy. It's now what's happening. It really wants to push against those fenders as I'm backing up. So I'm taking it nice and easy as I go. But at this point, you know, it's already bent, so whatever. But get it right, it's tight, out of the way, and that's where it's going to sit. Just go back, stop at the bump. It was a surprise, like not not a single stuck brake on that. 
but hopefully the sounds are right on here. I've, I'm waiting on a mic so I can do my uh, <coughs> excuse me, my voiceovers, and so I got to kind of record it on my phone and then upload it. And so hopefully it sounds all right. But we just put down the landing gear and drop it. And we chat a little bit here, but. You see him underneath here, what he's doing, he's knocking that glad hand off. Let's all the air out and it's locking those brakes so when I drop this it doesn't want to try it. It's not a hill there, but it, just so it doesn't come forward on us and get those brakes locked up. But just pull ahead and Give ourselves enough room here to get those chokers out. But where those chokers were attached, they're going around that main. Here, here I am, like, oh, I bent it all that. Frustrating. I think one thing, if we changed it, if we dropped it a little bit lower, didn't have it up so tight, brought the, brought the landing gear up so I could lower that trailer down, I think I could have actually got it out a little bit better with their damage in it. Whatever. No, boss wasn't too worried about it, so neither am I. It's at this point you can't do anything about it. But where I'm pulling those off, where those chokers are, it bent like those uh, ribs, I guess, or the crossers. It bent them all up because they're so rotten. It's crazy, and this trailer passed safety, and I, I don't know how it did, but whatever. We just clean up here at the end, but uh, this is how you move a uh, flat deck trailer with a skidder. Pretty easy. It'd be, you know, if we had a uh, either a bigger skidder. So you have a higher fair lead, or just a skitter with a higher fair lead would have worked, but whatever. There now, and it's done. We got more room for firewood. Like, there's tons of room for activities. But, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.